Here you see two separate edge reflections. The first reflection is around the red zero line and is from the primary bevel of the blade when it was manufactured. The second reflection is further out on the scale and is from the secondary bevel. The reflection from the secondary bevel ends at the sharp cutting edge. The drawings provide an illustration of the previous reading. The blade is black and the laser reflection is red. The different characteristics of the blade are labeled and you can see the source of the distinct pattern created by each blade. This blade was initially sharpened like the first and I added a third bevel at the cutting edge. You can see the third reflection further out on the scale past the second reflection. This pattern is similar to that seen on the test blade that came in your kit. This illustration is similar to the first one and the third bevel is shown with the additional reflection it generates. On a used blade like this, the bevels and breakpoints are worn and there is no sharp cutting edge at the end of the point. You see the reflection as a solid line going out past the ends of the scale as it is created by the smooth rounded surface. This illustration shows the worn rounded surface and the reflections it generates. Just like a 70s disco ball, the rounded surface reflects in all directions. This blade was sharpened freehand on a stone where it is difficult to create flat bevels and clean breaks. The continuous reflection starts at the primary bevel and stops at the sharp cutting edge. If the edge is not sharp, the reflection will continue as it did with the dull blade. This illustration shows the common pattern generated when hand sharpening, being a continuous reflection from the primary bevel to the sharp edge. The angle reading would be taken at the outside edge of the reflection.